Now uh, here we are having three types of model of protein folding. Uh, first model is called the framework model. Second model is uh, the nucleation model, and the third model is the hydrophobic collapse. Now we are going to see three different types of models, and now finally look what is the actual model to describe the protein folding. Now first model of the framework model, what this framework model start to say is that we are having this primary sequence, the so stretches of amino acid linked together via the peptide bond. Now uh, the region of uh, this peptide uh, amino acid sequence, so the primary amino acid sequence start to make uh, different domains. This some of the regions start to make the alpha helix domain, some of them start to make the beta sheet domain. Now making different domains, then what they do, uh, they interact, uh, the, those domains uh, start to interact with each other, this alpha helix, beta sheets and alpha helix, all these things are starting to interact with each other to, to make the desired protein structure to make the uh, the stabilized most stabilized protein structure so what is happening they actually diffuse uh, until uh, they coil so they make this uh, regional uh, uh, secondary structure and uh, this regional secondary structure start to diffuse and finally make the coil structure now if we look for the classic nucleation model now this model uh, states about the propagation of uh, of this secondary structure so in this case rather uh, they make all the secondary structure that can be formed in the primary sequence they can form only some stretch of secondary structure in in some region of the uh, of this uh, primary sequence of the protein so it makes some uh, uh, secondary structure here now this secondary structure serves as a nucleus for the this overall primary sequence of the protein now it acts as nucleus and all the other strands, all the other sequence of amino acid is start to accommodate, uh, sir, uh, accommodate onto this nucleus to finally make the coiled or actual three dimensional structure of the protein. So this is called the propagation because we find we start to make a nucleus, which is the starting point uh, of uh, mm, the protein. Then we are uh, arranging other amino acid sequences to the nucleus to make uh, the strong and stabilized structure of the protein. And the third model is called the hydrophobic collapse model. And according to this hydrophobic collapse model, what is uh, said is that there are regions in these amino acid stretches of sequences. There are hydrophobic amino acid there. Those hydrophobic amino acids start to interact with each other because these hydrophobic interactions are really important inside the protein. Uh, so this hydrophobic interaction. So let me tell you what is a hydrophobic interaction. Hydrophobic interaction is a type of bonding that is uh, that is done uh, to go against the water, to go against the watery environment or or uh, the hydrophilic environment so the protein sequence so that some of the amino acid sequence try to go away from water and this driving force of go away from water helps them to accommodate with each other to find uh, their partners of uh, which are also hydrophobic to interact with each other to make something uh, some stabilized structure which, which makes the interior of the protein most of the time that is called the hydrophobic collapse so according to the hydrophobic collapse model so they start uh, to make the secondary structure and would be direct and so start to make this amino acid sequence to make the hydrophobic collapse and after the hydrophobic collapse, collapse they will make the secondary structure then the secondary structure will interact with each other to make the tertiary structure now the tertiary structure will interact to make the quaternary structure so these are the three different types of uh, models that will explain how a protein is folding now I'm going to tell you uh, the classic mantra for protein folding and that is that it is unlikely that there is a single mechanism for protein folding so there is no single mechanism that we, that can explain the protein folding no single mechanism is there so we can incorporate we have to incorporate all these different types of mechanism to describe how a protein is folded properly because this is also this is again is undescribed process we, the research is going on full uh, on the full force to understand about this protein folding because still it is unknown to us the full mechanism is unknown to us how it is initiated but it is unlikely that is, there is only one mechanism of this hugely and highly complex uh, complex uh, mechanism so there must be different ways to explain this so we can uh, accommodate all the ways accommodate the nucleation model the propagation model uh, which is a uh, nucleation which is a propagation model and also the hydrophobic collapse model to finally describe this structure describe the arrangement of the protein like that okay now 